Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Maji Moji Rurumo Episode 3 Anime Review. And the series just keeps getting better. Now, where exactly the series is going to go, I can't really tell because it is kind of odd. Like, it has a lot of comedy because it's mainly a comedy, but it also has lots of drama, which I think is actually very well written and constructed and put into the series in general. So... Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell exactly where the series is going to go. Um, so if you remember from the last episode, uh, Rurumo used some magic to basically make herself be uh, the main, our main male character, I forget his name, yeah, our main male character's brother. Okay, so he's basically part of the family now. He basically rewrote, or well... She technically did. He used one of those papers, I believe, to rewrite his entire family's memory so that they think that she's actually li part of the immediate family. Okay. And so that's kind of played off as in this episode because she ends up getting a job in the school cafeteria, which she calls a personal restriction, which even our main male character is confused by what this means, and I kind of am too. I don't really know what she means by a personal restriction. And it's not really explained too well, I don't think, in this episode either. But who knows, maybe it will be later on. Remember, this is only episode 3, okay? <clears throat> and... So, and so... Ba basically, his friends end up finding out that she's his sister. And... Th but there's also this other girl who ends up joining their club. And they, she ends up having a square off with Rurumo. And there's just lots of comedy here, but it's, there's also some interesting drama in this episode because, as we learned in the last episode, Rumo doesn't realize or doesn't know that when our main male character uses up all of those tickets to help her become a full-fledged witch, he'll die. She doesn't know this, at least as far as we can tell so far. Okay, so my question is, how did she become a full-fledged witch? Like, in the past, if she hasn't actually killed anyone before. And, you know, because we did learn the, a little bit more about her past. She was really, she was bullied as a witch. And so that got her to be, um, end up being trapped here on Earth. Because she was basically tricked, essentially. Okay. So how did she become a full-fledged witch before? And do you think our main male character would be, would be willing to use up all the tickets to help her become a full-fledged witch? That's a very interesting question. But overall, I like this episode, though. The comedy was strong here. My favorite part of the series is still that Yandere mother. She is fucking hilarious, okay? I love seeing her. Serious, seriously. Like, I honestly think that she's the best part of the series so far. Oh my gosh, she's so fucking creepy, but that's why she's hilarious. So, yeah, and we did get to see her once in this episode, which was really good. Okay, I hope we get to see her more in the future. Anyways, really short review, but there's not really a whole lot to say. I just wanted to get my opinion out there. Very good episode. The comedy in this series is strong. I wasn't thinking too much about this series going into it, but now that I'm watching it, I'm really glad that I am. So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.